Ah, Pokemon Snake Wood. The one game that makes me not quite be totally against abortion. Because, uh, you know, I don't usually do, in fact, I would think this is my first ever video reply to a Let's Play video. I don't even know if you'll accept it or not. Uh, but the point is, it needs to be mentioned because whoever made Pokemon Snake would, uh, definitely deserve to not exist. I mean, that's the first time I can authentically say that is the worst person I have ever met that was not a moderator. For all I know, maybe he is. That would explain everything. But, uh, yeah, the first person I've ever hated that wasn't a moderator. And, you know, it, it could have easily been avoided, but it seemed like he sought out purposely to make the worst game ever. And considering you're dealing with Pokemon here, that's pretty bad. Now, what fooled me into playing this terrible, terrible game was that, uh, you know, it's a zombie apocalypse Pokemon. Now, that seems pretty interesting. Uh, there's brand new zombie Pokemon. Hmm, sounds pretty good. There's new types of trainers that are ghosts, demons, uh, sentient human zombies, training zombie Pokemon, things like that. That actually sounds like a pretty good premise. I think I'll give it a whirl. And while indeed it was difficult, it was a challenge that was appreciated because it was something new. It was actually creative. You don't come across Pokemon Centers, you come across Medikits. Kind of like in Left 4 Dead, but these are actually uh, suspended in animation, and then you go to them like a Pokemon Center without having to deal with Nurse Joy. That's a benefit in and of itself. I'd rather deal with a zombie apocalypse than have to deal with Nurse fucking Joy. So, you know, you're going around fighting zombies who are extremely powerful, but, uh, you know, that's tolerable too, I guess. It's not quite as annoying as normal Pokemon. And, you know, it's... It's steadily challenging, kind of forced at times. The humor it definitely needs some work. You can clearly tell the guy that made this was a big weeboo. Weeboos have no sense of humor whatsoever. And they just force everything. They have no writing skill at all. So, then when you get to Haruko, as you said, uh, just suddenly it takes a turn for the worse. Now, I don't know if it gets any better after this. I didn't bother to find out. Because... When you go to Haruko, uh, her Pokemon are level 20, well, her max level Pokemon is level 25, and you won't be much stronger than upper 20s at this point. Even if you grind, you're not going to be all that much more powerful. But you figure you stand a, a decent chance, right? No, no. See, uh, this guy felt the need to incorporate every single annoying thing about Pokemon combined. Not only do you go in there and it's a dark room and you're like, okay, I'll fight some trainers and it'll bring some light into the room. That's how that normally that stupid puzzle works. No, it stays dark. So you're having to bump through walls, figuring out how the fuck to get to Haruko, and then you figure, well, once I get to her, I'll save my game and then, you know, deal with it then. Uh, but then you come to find out that she's the fucking Ubermensch, or at least that one Pokemon of hers is. I swear to God, uh, that level 25, whatever the fuck it is, it's a dark type with electric moves, but that's not the problem. The problem is it has ridiculous stats. I don't know what exactly its stats are, but it should be a level 100 Pokemon, not a level 25. There is no way that that would constitute a level 25 Pokemon. When you're dishing out your best shit, and it's barely doing anything to it. Not only does it have this impeccable defense, but then it turns around and slaps you around with its dick in like one or two hits. When was Bite ever that good? So, basically you have to find some way to get across this. In my case, I decided to go with self-destruct, which by the way doesn't work that well. It might damage it quite a bit, but never quite enough to kill it. Or should I say faint or whatever. Uh, so then you have to strategize around that. And you have to pre-plan how you're going to deal with the Ubermensch Pokemon and stuff. And then of course you come across that one orb thing that God only knows what type it is. See, that's the thing about a game where it offers challenges such as that. Usually there are hints. Like when you were defeating those trainers, someone should have told you. Warning, there is a new Pokemon that I've never heard of before, but I think it's this type. 
or something like that. Something to give you a tip off of what you're in for and what you can do about it. But no, you're just thrown into battle with this weird ass fucking turd Pokemon with no means of figuring out how to deal with it. Now, what makes this worse is Wonder Guard is actually a legitimate Pokemon ability. What the fuck Game Freak was thinking, I don't know, but then again, what were they thinking with anything involving Pokemon? So, that I'm not surprised at. Okay, Wonder Guard basically says, you cannot deal damage to me unless I, you're my elemental weakness, and there are vicarious means of damages such as struggle or a poisoning. Well, I tend to like poison type anyway. Unfortunately, I did not think I would need toxic gas on my coughing, so I taught him a move similar to toxic gas, but that dealt a little damage with it. And because of that, now it's completely worthless because it cannot damage him and therefore cannot it cannot work in order to trigger the poison. And therefore it's just worthless. And um I know I'm repeating myself here, but I didn't I don't script these videos. My point is that it came down to Centrit's evolved form. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Anyway, and we came at a bit of a crossroads because Centrit's evolved form is immune to Nightshade for whatever reason. I guess because Ghost type doesn't work against normal. I haven't played Pokemon God knows how long, so I don't know how the elemental system works. Anyway, so it's immune to Ghost type and he's immune to fucking everything. So what now, Stranger Danger? What will you do? Eventually, you gotta struggle yourself to death. Uh, but no, it it would take forever. I think you, it's purely based on luck if that battle ever ends. Because not only does it have Wonder Guard protecting it from everything, uh, not only is it near impossible to come across a type of Pokemon that would be able to poison it to death, but then, to top it all off, this bitch goes through super potions like they were a smack. I mean, seriously, Super Potion better be some kind of street name for Coke or something, because she uses at least four to six of them. How many fucking Super Potions do you have up your pussy? I mean, it, normally after third generation, that's what trainers do. They, this Game Freak decided to make Pokemon even more cheap, now where the enemies use fucking potions up the asshole. I get that. But you're going to combine the annoying dark room with the side quest where you can't even fight her until you you know do the stupid side quest with she's got the ubermensch pokemon with the pokemon with wonder guard uh, with you know it's ridiculous there's a difference between challenge and tedious and this crosses way over to the line of tedious aggravating and clearly the person that made it has no life was not uh, well liked in school maybe his mother never loved him Considering the way he acts, I'm not surprised. It's just that fucking ridiculous. And you know what I think it comes down to? I don't even think that it's he intentionally wanted to make it as aggravating as possible. What I think it is, is that he's got one of those weeboo man crushes on Haruko. Uh, he probably has a Haruko pillow he sleeps with at night and shit. Writes fanfics about himself fucking Haruko. And so that's why he made her so ridiculously powerful because he's got a boner for fucking Haruko and the rest of us have to suffer for it so when you finally do defeat the broad what what do you get for it a fucking badge that teaches you uh, that lets you raise Pokemon up to level 30 which you're nearly at anyway and the TM buff up or whatever the fuck it's called uh, like you'll ever use that and I, I think over 800 and coins or whatever they call their currency, which you're not going to use anyway because you're in the fucking zombie apocalypse. Money is of no use to you. It'd be much better to give you potions or uh, some kind of power-up things or anything, anything besides fucking money. There's no shops around to fucking go and buy shit. So, it, it's just... It had to be by design. Either it had to be by design to be a massive troll, or it had to be by design that since he's got such a boner for Haruko, he's going to make her extremely difficult to beat. Because while everything was indeed challenging, it was never quite so frustrating challenging. Like I said, challenge is good. Frustrating, not good. You shouldn't be aggravating your players. And mind you, a lot of people that do these modifications are 
newbies when it comes to game design. I don't expect them to get everything right. I don't expect them to make the perfect game. I don't expect them to be able to cater to my personal tastes. But god fucking damn it. If you knew this is what people were going to be challenging along the way, you think you would have incorporated some reasonable means to deal with it. And I got something else to tell you. There are certain things that you would not be able to predict as you're battling that anyway. Even if you knew all of those variables that I listed just now, you would still not be able to uh, predict half the shit that goes on. Like the first time I tried, I made the mistake of using sand attack on it. I figure, oh, I'm going to drain down its nightshade attack by making it miss all the time, and then when it starts struggling, it's going to, you know, struggle, but then miss while at the same time dealing damage to itself. It doesn't work like that. Apparently, when you miss when you struggle, you don't damage yourself. So then that made it even more annoying. And it's just, and you don't want to paralyze it, so don't use any kind of paralysis. You don't want to do anything to it besides poison it or know its elemental weakness. That's it. Anything else is just an invitation for massive aggravation, massive wanting to punch this guy in the fucking jaw for the rest of your life, and I guarantee you that. And there's no, there's no reason for that. There's no reason that you're taking the time out to design a game, tippy typing away on the coding, do do do, and you don't stop to think about this for five seconds. You don't stop to think about for five seconds how, wait a minute, this sounds like a real fucking pain in the ass. I don't think there's anybody on God's green earth that would want to go through with that as a challenge. And if you ever have even the inclination, maybe you should call some friends up first and ask them. That's what I do. When I'm thinking about designing a game, I call up my friends. Most of them play at least some kind of video games, and that's the thing. I'd want to appeal to even the most casual of gamer. I wouldn't want to just, you know, go for the hardcore neckbeards that play Silver Surfer on NES, neat hacksaws. You know, I want that to appeal to a broad audience. I get some enjoyment out of it. So I'd call them up and I'd be like, what do you think of this idea? What do you think could improve upon that idea? Do you think that that's pretty good as is? Do you, uh, you know, things like that. And like I said, you're not going to please everybody. But surely it must have occurred to you that that wasn't going to please anybody. And, you know, it just, either he didn't care, he didn't on purpose to troll, or he's just a fucking fanboy of Haruko. Whatever the reason, he has no business designing games. So, I guess that's all I have to say. I just wanted to point that out and reply to your Let's Play video. And rather than endure the horrors of playing that shitty game, maybe I'll just watch it from your end. That way I can see how that whole thing turns out. And you seem like a pretty calm guy, so I want to see how much this gets to you watching this shitty game just get worse and worse and worse. So, see you later.